हेलो नमस्ते सत्याकाल टू ऑल द लर्नर्स दिस इज कमल हजन नानी साइनिंग इन एट लर्नर्स अकेडमी एज वी ऑल नो दैट ड्यू टू द वर्ल्ड वाइड कोविड नाइन्टीन आउटब्रेक एंड एज पर द गवर्नमेंट रेगुलेशन एंड इंस्ट्रक्शन वी ऑल हैव बीन लॉक्ड इन साइड अवर होम्स एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच वी आर नॉट एबल टू गो टू अवर रेस्पेक्टिव क्लासेज एंड दिस इज रियली हैम्परिंग अवर कंसिस्टेंट लर्निंग प्रोसेस but no matter we cannot go to our at classes but at least we can continue our learning process with the help of this social media platform and this way we would not only help the authorities follow the social distancing guideline but also we would learn something new to enhance our learning process and personality while sitting at our homes so friends today we gonna learn something which is very important and crucial part of our quant curriculum and it really helps to fasten up our calculation speed while taking any academic or competitive exam so the topic for today is square operations yes we really face a, a lot of problems while performing some square operations in our maths exam don't we together we will learn a simple trick which helps us to perform the square operations up to the numbers 125 without using a pen yes you got it right we can perform the square operations of numbers from 1 to 125 yes 1 to 125 and that too without using a pen so here is how it how it works first of all what we will do we will divide these numbers into three groups the first group will be 1 to 25 the second one will be 26 to 75 and the third and the last one will be 76 to 125 so we will start Uh, we will learn how to square up the numbers from 1 to 125 in a very sweet and very simple and easy trick as we know that to grab something we always need to do something so the numbers in the first group that is from 1 to 25 we will have to learn the squares of these numbers which i am pretty much sure every one of us must have learned as this is always included in our basic mathematical skills now once we have learned the squares of the numbers from 1 to 25 yes the numbers in the second and the third group we do not need to learn them the numbers in these groups we will perform a simple trick which we will going to learn today in this video how to square the numbers from 26 to 75 and again 76 to 125 so we will only need to learn the squares of the numbers from 1 to 25 and this will help to perform the square operations on this group and this group too so let us start first let me show you the squares of the numbers from 1 to 25 here is a list which you can see we have a table in which the squares of the numbers from 1 to 25 is given i'm sure you all have learned these tables and it is very simple we always perform these squares in our day to day also in day, in our day to day routine lives so shall we start let us take an example uh, before that let me tell you something see we had three groups from, first was 1 to 25 the second was 26 to 75 and the last one was 76 to 125 okay so the first group we have to learn and for the second and third group we will consider a base number the base number for the second group 26 to 75 will be 50 here the base number will be 50 and from the uh, for the numbers from 76 to 125 the base number will be 100 so we have to remember that the base number is 100 here and the base number is 50 here these base numbers will help as to find the squares of these numbers okay so let us take an example from the third group we will start with the third group as the base is, here is 100 and which is a uh, little bit easier to learn and then we will move forward towards the second group okay so let me take an example from the group 76 to 125 any number which we think so first of all let us take an example 104 
we have to perform the square of the number 104 okay so what we will do see the number 104 is 4 greater than the base number which is 100 104 is greater than 100 by 4 okay means 104 minus 100 gives us 4 okay so what we get, we are gonna do the number which is uh, the number this number is 4 greater than 100 so we will add 4 more th to the number means 104 plus 4 and this will give me 108 okay any problem till now no so now we will put the square of the number which we had already added to the number the square of 4 is 16 we all know the square of 4 is 16 so what we will do we will put 16 here and this is my final answer 10816 yes guys this is the square of the number 104 amazing now even you can perform the square operations faster than a calculator if if you have mastered this skill if you have completely learnt the process which i am showing to you in this video okay so let us take another example uh, i will take number 107 see 107 is 7 more than 100 so we will add 7 more to the number it will give me 114 and the square of 7 is 49 this is my answer simple and sweet the square of 107 is 11449 easy so now let us take some complicated ones i have to perform the square operation on the number 112 see the number 112 is 12 more than the base which is 100 so what i need to do i will add 12 more to the number it will give me 124 now what i have to perform the square operation of 12 which i know because i have already learnt the square operations for the numbers from 1 to 25 this will help us to get the square operation to perform square operations to the other numbers in the second and third group so the square of the number 12 was 144 so what i need to do i had to put the square of this uh, number 12 in front of this number if i put 144 here the number becomes 124144 which is certainly not the right answer okay so what is the mistake see when I put in the square of the number added to this number, then I had to only write the two digit number. How many digits? Two digit number. So what will, what will I do? I will put the two digit number here and add this one to the remaining number. So the number becomes 1, 2, 5, 4, 4. Simple. So now take us let us take uh, an another example hmm. 124 i don't know what is the square of 124 but if i know the square of 24 i know the square of 124 see how it works 124 is 24 more than 100 so what will i do i will add 24 more to the number it will become 148 and the square of the number 24 is 576 see here it is given in this table and we have to learn this table 576 so what will i do i had to only put a two digit number here so i will put 76 here and add 5 to this 148 okay so it becomes 1537 Six. The square of the number 124 is 15376. Okay. Hmm. Similarly, when we take the number 102 or 103, what happens? See? So, let us take the number 103. 103 is 3 more than the 100. So, 
I have to add three more to the number. It will give me 106. And the square of three is nine. And if I am putting nine in front of this number, the number becomes 1069, which is certainly not the square of 103 in any direction. So I told you now I had to put a two digit number here. So the square of three is nine, which is a single digit number. What will I do? I will put a two digit number. The square of three is nine. I will use it as 09. I will put 09 here. Always I have to put a two digit number here. So the square of 103 will be 10609. Similarly, 102. 102 is two more than the 100. I will add two more to the number. It will give me 104. And the square of 2 is 4, which is a single digit number. So I will put a 0 here and put 4 here. The number will be 10404, which is the square of the number 102. So moving further. Now what if the number is less than 100? See, if I had to do the square of 96. The number 96 is 4 less than the 100. So I will subtract 4, 4 I will subtract 4 more from this number because it is 4 less than 100. The number will be 92. And the square of 4 is 16. I will put 16 here. The square of 96 is 9, 2, 1, 6. Amazing now. Uh, let me take some more examples. Okay. Uh, we have to perform the square of 86. Okay. 86. The number 86 is 14 less than 100, isn't it? So, what will I do? I will subtract 14 more from this number. It will give me 6 minus 4, 2, 8 minus 1, 7. And the square of 14, which I need to remember, is 196. I need to put a two digit number here. So, I will put 96 here and add 1 to the remaining number so it will become 7 3 9 6 the square of 86 is 7 3 9 6 isn't it amazing uh, okay now let us take uh, one more example then we will move forward to the second group mm, I had to perform the square operations on 98 simple and easy Okay, the number 98 is 2 less than 100, so I will subtract 2 more from this number, it will give me 96. And the square of 2 is 4, which is again a single digit number and I have to put a 2 digit number here. So I will write 4 as 04, I will put 04 here. And the number becomes 9604, which is the square of 98. So I am sure you are now able to perform the square of the numbers from 76 to 125. If the number is greater than 100, you will have to add that number, add that difference. Okay, and if the number is less than 100, you have to subtract that distance. Haan bhai, haan bhai ya, simple si baat hai, agar number so se jada hai, to jitna jada hai, utna hai us number mein. Or jod dijiye, or agar number so se kam hai, to jitna kam hai, us number mein se utna hi kam kar dijiye. Now, moving further, hmm. okay, now let us move towards the second group. The second group was from, the first group was from 1 to 25, which I need to remember. The second group was from 26 to 75 and the third group was from 76 to 125. We have already practiced the numbers from 76 to 125 because the base here was 100 which was easy to perform. Now the base in the second group is 50. So the base is half of the original base. So what I need to do, I had to again perform a half function on 50 and if I will perform a half function on 50, it will become 25. So what is the difference? The, the difference which I gonna add to that number now I will add the difference to 25 and the and also subtract from 25 only. So let us take an example from the second group. Mm, I will first of all take a number 42. Okay, uh, the number is 42. I have to perform a square function on 42. The number 42 is 8 less than the base which is 50 in this group. 
so what i will do i will subtract 8 from 25 remember i will not subtract 8 from 42 i will always subtract or add something to 25 in the second group this is the basic thing which this is the basic difference between the third group and the second group in the third group we need to add or subtract the number to the original number but here we need to add or subtract the number from 25 always this is the biggest difference between the third and second group so 25 minus 8 becomes 17 and what is the square of 8 64 simple the square of 42 is 7764 easy so let us take some more examples from the second group also mm. okay uh, now i need to perform the square function on 37 see the 37 is 50 less than the uh, the 37 is 13 less than 50 so i will subtract 13 from 25 25 minus 13 gives me 12 and the square of 13 is 169 i need to put a two digit number here so i'll put 69 here and add one to the original number so it will become 1369 the square of 37 okay so let us take some examples which are greater than 50 okay uh, first of all i will take 56 okay the square of 56 the number 56 is 6 greater than 50 okay so i will add 6 more to 25 it will become 31 and the square of 6 is 36 so the square of 56 is 3 1 3 6 okay taken another example i have to perform square function on 72 okay 72 the number 72 is 22 more than 50 we can easily judge this little thing that it is 22 more than 50 so what will i do i will add 25 uh, i will add 22 to 25 because in the second group we always add or subtract something from 25 this is the basic thing uh, 25 plus 22 becomes 47 and the square of 22 see here it is 484 i will put a two digit number here 84 and add 4 to the original number it will become uh, 5184 so the square of 72 is 5184 so by practicing this as much as we can we could take control of the square of the numbers up to 125 if we know the squares of the numbers from uh, up to 25 indirectly we know the squares of the numbers from 1 to 125 so guys hope you enjoyed the video and we learned something new to add in in our mathematical skills stay connected for more such tricks used in various mathematical problems and yes please like the video subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon corona season is on please take care of yourselves and your loved ones this is kamal achanani kamal achanani signing off for now keep learning